Uh, let's talk mental health now. 40 civil society organizations have called on President Muhammad Buhari to make history by assenting to the National Mental Health Bill 2021 on or before uh, Sunday, February 26, 2023. On November 28, 2022, the National Assembly transmitted the bill to the President for assent, and the first time mental health reforms have reached the executive in the country's history. And once it is signed into law, the proposed legislation will help replace the Regional Lunacy Act of 1958, which practitioners condemn as outdated and inhumane. And some provisions of the National Mental Health Bill 2021 include creating a Department of Mental Health Services in the Federal Ministry of Health and a Mental Health Fund, establishing human rights protections for those with mental health conditions uh, such as banning discrimination in housing, employment, medical and other social services. All right, I have joining me uh, Chime Asonye, founder of Nigeria Mental Health. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on Newsnight. I wonder why you've given the president this ultimatum. Why exactly, you know, to sign the mental health uh, bill? Yes, first of all, I didn't give him an ultimatum. Okay. The mental health community, the mm -hmm. leading actors in the nation have come together and say that psychological health is important for all Nigerians, especially on the back of COVID. What right. we did is that we have drafted an open letter mm -hmm. and that open letter has been signed by 30 plus organization calling on the president to pass the National Mental Health Bill. Mm -hmm. There's been failed efforts at reform for the last two decades. In 2003 to 2000 and uh, for six later, 2009, there was attempts, it failed. In 2013, it failed. And now is a unique opportunity for the first time ever the National Mental Health Bill has gone to the president and the entire mental health community is speaking in one voice and saying that we should really pass the bill. You mentioned in your introduction some mm. of the key reasons why we should pass it. Yeah. Whether that's creating national standards through a Department of Mental Health, financing the industry which is woefully underfunded. Mm -hmm. um, we have a mental health, we have a health budget and only a fraction, three to four percent goes to mental health. And when we think about it, um, and the at back of COVID, we all understand that mm. isolation, depression are all challenges we all face. And so we need to make Did sure that we put worse? structures. Did it get worse during yes. COVID? It definitely got worse. There's a couple of statistics to back that up. Actually, in our open letter, um, we cite a statistic from Manny, which is Mentally Aware in Nigeria Foundation, and there was a poll they did with Africa Polling Institute. And they said that 25% of individuals um, during COVID mm -hmm. had depression or anxiety symptoms. We also saw figures that are backed up globally. That was Nigeria specific, but right. globally, the World Health Organization said that depression and anxiety increased by 25% because of COVID. And so we know that um, because of the isolation, this has become more of a prominent conversation. Mm -hmm. So if we do wanna really impact things um, in different social sectors, we really need to pass this bill. And, and I think it would be a great opportunity right now. Um, Pe President Buhari is known for a lot of things. But one of the things that he can double down and really solidify his legacy is how he's interacted with persons with disabilities. During the last election cycle in 2019, mm -hmm. in January, right before the elections, he passed the historic um, discrimination uh, yeah. ability bill to support those uh, rights of persons with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And he also passed legislation to establish a National Health Commission for persons with disabilities. So we're saying that he should brandish his uh, work in this arena and support other vulnerable communities. When we think of persons with disabilities, uh, mental health is right there. Why do you think the you know passage of this law that you've been, you know, uh, crying we, for? We have. Yeah, you, we have yes. 40 civil society why, organizations. Why has it stalled over the years, really? Is it mm -hmm. a reflection of the you know, lack of appreciation of the, the fact that mental health is a clear and present danger in Nigeria because we've heard that about 45% of the Nigerian population uh, has, you know, some form of mental health uh, Ch challenge, challenge or the other. Yeah, I think the best statistics that um, we refer to with Nigeria Mental Health is from the World Health Organization. Mm. And honestly, our data in this field is really outdated. So okay. this is something that the bill needs to work on mm -hmm. is just to get fresh data. But that data says that um, one in eight Nigerians 
Nigerians have a mental health condition, and only 10% can access the care they need. So this bill will do that. But I think that there's a couple of reasons why the bill is stalled. Uh, one is really just because of political capital. You know, there wasn't the right legislators um, there to push the bill. But we've had uh, really great support from legislators right now, whether it's um, um, Henry Wamba, uh, mm. chairman of the Ad Hoc Committee on the Legislative Agenda, the two chairs of the Senate and the House. Uh, we mentioned some Francis Wave, Representative Francis Wave. There's been some legislators who really felt like this was a key important issue. So that's one, the political mm -hmm. capital has been there. Second, this is a national and international conversation. We haven't been talking about issues like mental health before without COVID. And then I think the third is that the mental health community have just really come together, mm -hmm. right? And we're stronger together than we are apart. Right. And we're speaking in one voice. One of the historic things about the press release that we just launched, where 40 organizations signed on to, mm -hmm. is that we had four of the leading professional bodies in the field, um, the National Association of Clinical Psychologists, the Association of Psychiatric Night, um, Psy uh, Psychiatrists in Nigeria, the um, Association of Medical Social Workers, and the right. Association of Nurse Psy um, of psychiatric nurses mm -hmm. all sign on to this letter saying that this bill is important right now. So what would be the immediate, you know, challenges that this bill, if it comes, you know, if it becomes law, mm -hmm. would really address? And I'd also like you to talk mm -hmm. about the issue of funding. I mean, yes. are you going to, should government alone be funding, uh, you know, mental health? Well, government needs to do more about health in general. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the Abuja Accords where 50% right. of our budget is supposed to go to health. Mm -hmm. We are way below that. So in general, not just in mental health, we need to increase our funding threshold. But I think that one of the, the there's a couple of three instruments that this bill creates in the terms of institutions. The immediate yes. solutions. Well, the it immediate creates a mental health challenges. Fund. It yeah. creates a mental health fund okay. that is supposed to finance the financial services. But I think that some of the other things that are really clear are about human rights. Um, this is We're just on the back of Nas International Human Rights Day. Mm -hmm. And so this bill will preserve um, ban discrimination in social services, et cetera, give people the right to information, allow individuals who have mental health conditions to work to formulate their own policies. It shouldn't be doctors telling you what should happen, especially if you have um, different where it exists on the spectrum. You should be able to say, this is the type of treatment I deserve. Yeah, but for someone who has a mental health issue, are condition, they really, yeah. uh, your condition, yeah. if you like, are they really in a position to say, look, this is the kind of treatment that I uh, should be getting? I mean, w when you say that, exactly what mm. do you mean? To well, what extent can they say, you know, the mental health yeah. uh, patient, say, this is what I need? Yeah. to be fine well you've had days that you're sad right oh and, absolutely. Or, or maybe depressed absolutely do we deprive Definitely. your rights to work on mental health conditions just because you've had bad days mm. so that's how it's been for a lot of people people exist on a spectrum and they may have mental health conditions that may harm them but they can still have um, the ability to say what their treatment should be and then think about how we do it for other classes for children for instance right mm. if a children can't make a decision we say that parents should we say a legal guardian should it's the same thing in this bill if in the rare instances where somebody can't make those decisions we appoint a legal representative for them um, so they can help make the decision and advocate for them we want individuals to be able to advocate and have their ability to mainstream their own concerns in this. And then also, we don't want unfair things like restraints. Mm -hmm. Right now, the legal regime is that a medical officer or a um, other type of official, yeah. can, police officer, et cetera, can detain you, not give you any treatment at all, mm -hmm. and just because you have a mental health condition. This legislation would stop that. And so okay. these are some of the reasons why uh, Buhari should Good. push this right before the elections and give him another win um, as he continues to... Um, Very quickly, in 30 things. seconds, what sure. about juvenile mental you know, health? Yes. Because that seems to be a worrying trend. Now. It, is, it is a worrying trend. There is actually um, a statistics. Nigerian adolescents face some of the most pressures in terms of anxiety uh -huh. um, than their parents. So when we think about children and young people's mental health, this is one of the things that the bill will help. One of the things it will do is create public health standards that will be across the nation. So integrating that community um, aspect. So I think that's one of the reasons why we should pass the mm -hmm. bill, not only for our young people, but for Nigerians in general. All right, I'm sure President Muhammad Buhari is listening and uh, you gave him Feb February 26? Yes, Fe February 26 is, is the expiration of the 90 days. Yeah. So we expect him to- Well, that'll um, be a day so after the presidential election that comes up. So hopefully he does it beforehand. <laughs> 
Chime Asonye, founder of Nigeria Mental Health. Thank you very much Thank for joining us on Newsnight.